if I post this, that means that I'm doing the Buzzwordathon this month. I am not 100% sure still if I will do that because I really want to make sure that I finish the other books I have on my TBR for this month. So if I'm able to do that, I will be doing the Buzzwordathon. Hopefully I'm not filming this for no reason. Uh, if you've never heard of the Buzzwordathon before, um, this is the last one that will be taking place in this kind of format, I suppose. So I think this is probably the last one I'm going to be doing. Kayla over at Books and Lala, um, I will link her announcement video down below. She's changing things up, so if you're curious about that, make sure to watch that video. Anyways, this. When does this go down? I look at my book. This is happening September 21st to the 27th. At least that's what I have written down. <laughs> Hopefully that is the right date. I know it's like in the like the third week or, or something like that. Third or fourth, I don't know. Anyways, that doesn't matter. The word for this buzzword The word for this buzzwordathon is night. And surprisingly, there were quite a few books on my bookshelf for me to choose from. So I've got a couple here. Um, two will definitely be prioritized over the other two, but uh, I don't know, maybe I could get them all done. So the first one I want to talk about is Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. I think I'm just going to read this this month no matter what because it is one of my five star predictions. Uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it's five stars. This has been on so many dang TBRs and I just don't ever quite get to it but I want to make that a priority this month. This is about an assassin in training named Mia and that's basically all I know about this. I'm very excited. I've heard great things about this, uh, about this series and the whole series is finished up now so I can just go ahead and read through all of them. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I never do that no matter how much I want to. I just never do it. Ah, never night. That's it. Okay, the second one I am definitely prioritizing is Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. I am kind of still coasting off the feelings that the only good Indians gave me. Um, and I read that two months ago now. Um, that book was so fucking good and I'm hoping I can like kind of hold on to that feeling that that book gave me by reading The Night of the Mannequins by Stephen Graham Jones. And I know, I know that this one is going to have a totally different feel to it um, just by reading the synopsis. And I am going to read you the synopsis here because I don't know if I could uh, give you a good synopsis on my own. So this says, one last laugh for the summer as it winds down. One last prank just to scare a friend. Bringing a mannequin into a theater is just some harmless fun, right? Until it wakes up, until it starts killing. Luckily, Sawyer has a plan. He'll be a hero. He'll save everyone to the best of his ability. He'll kill as many people as he needs so he can save the day. That's the thing about heroes. Sometimes you have to become the monster first. This sounds like so much fun. Um, it's a really short little novella. I think I will get it finished in no time. And this is another one that I might just read this month, even if I don't end up getting to uh, Buzzwordathon stuff. So, is this really Buzzwordathon TBR or is this just because TBR? Alright, the next book I would hopefully like to get to uh, during Buzzwordathon is The Saturday Night Ghost Club by Craig Davidson. Um, you might know Craig Davidson for his pen name. He is also Nick Cutter, who I've really enjoyed. I have read all but one of Nick Cutter's books. Um, but this is a different book. This is called The Saturday Night Ghost Club and that's because it's about a ghost club that takes place on Saturday night. Um, this is a coming of age story. It takes place in the 1980s. Um, this follows a kid and his kind of weird uncle and the kid kind of hangs out with his uncle a lot and ends up recruiting his friends into this Saturday Night Ghost Club and uh, something happens and I don't know what, but I wanna find out. This is a book that I've had on my shelf for far too long. It's only just 200 pages. So this is another one I feel like will be good for um, something like Bud's Word of Bond. And uh, I can just fucking read it quick. Okay, and last but not least, on my Buzz Wordathon TBR is Nightblood by T. Chris Martindale. 
This is a vintage horror book. It is from um, Valancourt Books reprinting reissue of some of the paperbacks from Hell Books. Okay, so this is a vampire novel, but not just like a blood sucky Dracula novel. This is about a Vietnam vet whose brother is slain in Central Park, so I'm assuming that this takes place in New York City, and he finds out the people who killed his brother are fucking vampires, and so I'm pretty sure that like he uh, uses crazy weapons to kill them. Um, I could be totally off. This is kind of, some of this is just inference on my part, um, assumptions on my part, but it seems like it's going to be a weird, <laughs> creepy pew pew bloodbath. Um, not entirely sure, but this is one that I am looking forward to. Like I said, this was uh, featured in Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix. He also did an intro in this new reissue, and that is Nightblood. So those are the books that I'm hoping to get to during the Buzzwordathon this month. Hope if I even get to the Buzzwordathon. I guess you'll know if you know you end up seeing this video that I've decided to do it. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know in the comments if you read any of these and what you thought about them. Even if you didn't like them, I still like to hear your guys' input on what I read. Oh, those waters from last night. It tastes like melted fridge ice cubes. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I will tell you now. Adieu. Goodbye. I'll see you guys later, okay? Okay.